Our guest tonight is Lucha Underground announcer Matt Stryker. How you doing? Hey, guys. How are you? We're excited to have you on the show. We're, we're big fans of Lucha, so we're excited to talk to you, man. Uh, you have been the voice of Lucha Underground since day one. What has it been like watching the growth of the promotion firsthand, and how does it feel knowing you're part of such a unique product? Uh, for me, it's the, the separation of what it was and what it is. I mean, it's a television show about a wrestling program, and I had an opportunity to reprise a character that was known for being in a different kind of genre. So seeing what it was, I really didn't have any idea what it was going to become, I guess is the short answer. Mike Curie? Yourself and, and Vampiro have a very obvious chemistry at the announce table. In what ways does your relationship with him away from the camera uh, lend itself to what fans see every week? And how does he and your chemistry with him compare to other announce partners that you've had over the years? Um, well, I mean, the character of Vampiro was played by an interesting actor. And uh, I, I knew that actor kind of before I knew the character. So... I think it's just an understanding of having a lot of similar backgrounds and a lot of similar thought processes or processes. I don't know. And uh, just kind of bouncing off of each other in our own little, we're both kind of weird, you know, I'll, I'll admit it. So it, it's a nice mesh. BG? You do a great job of expressing your excitement of Lucha Underground from the start of every show and it always comes across very genuine. Are you enjoying your time as the voice of Lucha Underground more than when you were performing in the ring? And do you feel you have a bigger impact on the product as an announcer compared to a wrestler? Uh, my enjoyment is, I guess, lateral. You know, there is no uh, more than this, more than that. And, uh, I mean, it's, I, again, I think there's a separation when, when, when people use the term product, they're obviously referring to, to pro wrestling. I, I really, I think this is a television show. I'm kind of coming to the realization that it's more of... You know, there, there are actors that play the characters, whereas Gorgeous George was an actor named George Wagner, and I'm really starting to see that more and more and more. So I don't think one actor has an impact on an industry any more than anyone else. So, you know, I'm just enjoying it across the board and, and seeing it for what it is. Well, you're admittedly a huge fan of wrestling, and while we do know that this is a television show, it's still, at the heart, it's still about wrestling, and that's what we all came to love about it. Uh, so you know how special it's become to the fans, the fans who are there in attendance and the fans who are there every week to watch it on television. In your mind, what is it that makes the, the show so unique, and what is the perception of the show from the performers backstage? Well, I, I think we've been leading up to this answer. Uh, right here you know, throughout all these questions and, and your statement to have your question is the exclamation point. I mean, there, there's the answer. And you reference the fans. The fans are also a character, too. <laughs> the, there, there's an actor inside of each fan. And when they come and they know that they're on the show, they, they, they turn it up a bit. And even fans that go to uh, independent wrestling shows, there's an actor within that fan, too. You know, there's a reason they put on that. I'll just keep it in, in the family, that Pentagon shirt when they went to that independent show. So, um... Therein lies the answer, I suppose. Mike Curie? You've been present for, for every big moment Lucha Underground's had to offer so far. There's been countless markout moments for fans, but from your perspective at the announce table, what really stands out as something that shocked you or is particularly memorable to this point? Um, well, the first thing I, I learned from uh, others is uh, the, the less I'll know coming up, better so that the reaction can be genuine and I, I found that I had a lot of genuine reactions in uh, in the, the scenes of Vampiro and Pentagon in the ring and a lot of genuine reactions from the stuff that, that, that Phoenix did uh, early on in the in the beginnings of the show so you know those are the two that stand out BG we've been fans of Lucha Underground since the first episode and we each have a different favorite wrestler you have the best seat in the house watching these amazing wrestlers. So is there anybody that stands out to you as the most exciting to call their matches? Yeah, I, I kind of, I, I go <laughs> a little off the cuff there, sorry. When I express a personal um, affinity for a particular performer, uh, guys like, and I, I've tagged myself to them, guys like Phoenix and guys like Drago and uh, a few more guys that will be uh, debuting and coming up soon that, that I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So, so yeah, of course, I, I get a real nice, it's, 
it's like I just go into the ballpark to be able to watch Clayton Kershaw throw every fifth day, as well as a bullpen session, as well as DT, you know, just sit and watch greatness. Yeah. Well, the Lucha Underground roster is already one of the most athletically gifted in the world. Um, which wrestlers outside Lucha, without having to spoil anything, would you like to see in the temple? Well, I think that there's a lot of talented uh, athletes. And I think uh, anyone that would come to bring their athletic talents, they would also have to be able to work their way into whatever the television show part of it is. There's a lot of people out there. I, I can't just name one, and I wouldn't want you know that done to me. So I'll take the set. Mike Curie? We saw Vampiro make the leap from the announce table to the ring last year, and he had that awesome match against Pentagon Jr. at Ultima Lucha. Um, would you ever have interest in potentially wrestling a match or even just getting involved in a storyline for Lucha Underground, or are you focused solely on announcing? Uh, I think that the, the character arc for the, for the character of Vampiro it lends itself to that natural progression just because of his size and uh, his demeanor. I, I, I Again, I, I can't speak for where the creative of the show will go. Um, but again, I just think that that Vampiro's, just his, his appearance alone lends itself that he would be more conducive to such a thing. But, I mean, such is life. If someone, you know, he <laughs> grabs my grandma's purse in the street, I'll punch him. Yeah. That person usually <laughs> isn't no more days, but there you go. Brandon Gavin, final question? From the outside looking in, it seems like everybody's having a lot of fun at Lucha Underground. How does the atmosphere amongst the wrestlers and the staff at Lucha Underground compare to that of WWE and other companies you've been at? Oh, it's entirely different things. WWE, uh, for the time I was there, you know, it's, it's in the focal, you know, front of your mind. It, it's wrestling. It's a wrestling show. It's a wrestling show. This is uh, similar to movie sets and television shows that I've worked on outside of wrestling that, that, that there's a big difference in that and then everything else just trickles down the mentality is completely different not that one is right or one is wrong but again and i'm wrestling with this realization no pun intended that this is a television show about a wrestling promotion it could be a television show about a diner you know and dario could be the you know mel in the back it, it's just it happens to be about a wrestling promotion and therein lies the crossover that's it well, another huge thank you to Matt Stryker. Catch him calling the action inside the temple for Lucha Underground every Wednesday at 8 p.m. on the El Rey Network. Tell the fans where they can support you and the Lucha Underground product. Oh, uh, yeah, you just gave it right there, all the El Rey Network stuff. I know Lucha Underground's big on Twitter, at Lucha El Rey. I know Vampiro's on Twitter, too. I think he's at Vampiro Vampiro. You can check me out as well. The whole Lucha Click, everyone's real big on social media. So follow everybody and get on board. Another huge thank you. We really appreciate your time, sir. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, guys.